How's it going, YouTube? Navy Sooner here. Um, today, on this uh, review, it's not really a review, it's what I talk about for my EDC. Uh, my EDC. It's usually what I'll carry on me daily uh, from for my everyday carry. Um, now, I'm not going to talk about the firearms that I carry because, one, YouTube, for some reason, doesn't like firearms and won't give monetary value if, for some reason, I get enough views, which I doubt I will. Um, and two, uh, every day, I, for five days out of the week, sometimes more, I have to go, to the, uh, go on to a naval base and here in Fort Worth and not allowed to bring firearms on there. So don't worry about my firearm EDC. Just know that when I'm out in town and I don't have to go to base, there's one on me. Well, let me go ahead and get started with my EDC loadout. First off, I always have some kind of glasses on me, whether it be sunglasses, which these are Oakley gas cans that are uh, polarized, or my Oakley chamfer or chamfer, however you chamfer glasses here uh, when I don't have contacts, which I wore these today because I'm waiting on contacts to get into Sam's. Um, yep. Yeah. They're pretty cool. They go with my Navy uniform. They got little blue highlights on them and the lenses are uh, Transitions so when I don't have my contacts, I don't have to worry about glasses or sunglasses Next in my EDC loadout, it's obviously my keys um, Got this thing called a nuck um, you can use it, grab onto it, use it for self self protection uh, if you need to for last resort and self protection. But it's a bottle opener, and you kind of open the bottle weird. You gotta like pop it that way. I don't know. I've used it plenty of times, but there's other things on here like my kids checking them in and out of daycare, um, my remove before flight because I work on. Work in naval aviation. Um, this is a uh, bomb cord. Uh, we had going bombing debts from my last squadron, and uh, this is what actually arms the bomb uh, whenever it finally leaves the aircraft. It pulls the the pin pulls out of it, uh, and then just a bunch of other keys to my Chevy 2500 Z71. Uh, yeah. Keys, typical. I always have a Bravo 1 Charlie on me. Uh, some people don't know what I mean by Bravo 1 Charlie. It's big. Uh, we just like to do dumb things in the military and call it a Bravo 1 Charlie. Uh, mostly, I carry it for cancer reasons, giving myself, giving it to myself. Um, but also you use it, uh, you can melt, uh, it's, uh, like when you have strings hanging off your uniform, you can melt it. Um, when you have, uh, wire that you, uh, shielding that you can, you need to melt down so it gets tight onto the wire. So I got my Bravo one, Charlie. <clears throat> I usually typically always have this little bracelet on. Got it from Cabela's for free. Because uh, it's always nice to have some paracord on you. Although I have paracord in my ADC pouch and also in my everyday bag. That's also my get home uh, bag in case something happens. I carry a watch. I have a watch on me at all times. This is my. My Casio, let's see what kind it is. I, my Casio GA100, uh, the blackout version except for the white uh, dials. It's a pretty nice watch. I like it. Um, 
And then I also have a Timex Expedition uh, field style watch that I'll wear as well. <clears throat> Always got some kind of a pin on me. Got my military uh, U.S. government pin, skill craft, that I always have on me in uniform. <clears throat> then, always have to have a hat. Uh, in the military, gotta have my cover. Uh, so, I got that uh, for every day. And then, I have my OU hat, because, well, guess what? Navy Sooner. Sooner stands for Oklahoma Sooner. Yes, I'm an Oklahoma graduate. So me, I'll need to get the hell over it if you want to talk trash. And then, my Navy multicam hat. Yeah, I understand multicam's not Navy, but this is a pretty cool uh, hat anyway. So, if you don't like the Navy and you don't like multicam or whatever, you want to talk trash about him, who the hell cares? It's not my problem. Next, always carry a flashlight on me. This is my MT1C uh, by Nightcore. I will be doing a uh, review on this one, plus I have other flashlights that I'll be doing reviews on because I do reviews of stuff, remember? Next, for most of the time, I will always have my Leatherman on me. Um, Y'all saw me do my review of my Leatherman. It's in my uh, Detroit holster, holster, um, and I don't know if I said before, but for some reason, carrying it in this holster, it relieves some of the weight uh, and balance because of this thing being so heavy, it, you can, it doesn't feel as heavy as it actually is. Um, and I usually carry it between my pants and uh, my belt uh, with this on the outside of my belt. And that way, um, it's not sticking out too far, and it, uh, like I said before, it cuts down on the, it doesn't really cut down on the weight, but you don't notice it as much. <clears throat> Next, I'll always have a big knife. Today, I carried this guy, Spyderco Military. Pretty big knife, right? Well, I might carry that. Or my Kershaw Launch One. This is the House of Blades edition of the Kershaw Launch One. Uh, I just got this a couple days ago. Pretty cool knife. I'm I'm not. I don't know how I feel about automatics. I usually do flippers or manual or spider codes. And so we'll see how I like that one. Another. Two more big knives I might carry. I have a bunch of different big, bigger knives uh, for pocket knives. This is the uh, Rick Hinderer 0562 by Zero Tolerance. This is a fairly big knife. I also have a 0909 that I'll carry on occasion. Um, and then also the Ontario Knife Company Rat 1. This one's in Oz 8 steel i got it at academy uh, and didn't order it online i just saw it and picked it up because i wanted one it's a pretty good knife that's the knife that i cut the tip of my thumb off with actually i'm stupid and then i don't just carry one knife on me i carry two i'll usually carry a small one the one I carried today was the Boker Quiken, uh, the smaller version, uh, VG10 steel. Nice little slicer. Um, it's pretty pointy too. Um, I also will carry my Zero Tolerance 0450 as one of my smaller knives. Um, and then my uh, Kershaw Dividend. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. If I called that a Kershaw, I meant zero tolerance. Uh, and this one is a Kershaw. Uh, and that's the Kershaw Dividend. Just got that a couple of days ago as well. Uh, got it for, they had buy one, get one free at, uh, at uh, House of Blades. So I bought the launch, got the dividend for free, which is kind of cool. Um, 
Anyways, I have other smaller knives that I'll carry with me, like the chive, but the chive is in my EDC pouch because it's small and it's a good knife. Some people think it's too smooth and slippery, but I don't see anybody, I don't see many people working in the Vaseline factory, as Nick Shabazz would say. Um, well, one more piece of EDC that I always have on me is my OU graduating ring. Yes, that's right. I'm not just a fan of OU. I'm also a graduate. Uh, anyways, that's uh, what my normal EDC loadout is. Um, sometimes I'll add stuff, sometimes I'll take stuff away, all depending on what my uh, daily uses are. Uh, anyways, hope you'll have a good evening. Uh, maybe sooner, I'm out.